Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing like a bit of a vlog style um, makeup collection video. I have been wanting to film this for a while. I wasn't really too sure how I wanted to do it. And I just thought a vlog style would be the best and probably the easiest way to do it, especially when you have to film on your own. I don't have anyone to help me. So yeah, I really wanted to film a makeup collection video for you guys. Just a vlog style of it and just to show you like my setup um, and the products that I have in my makeup collection. I just wanted to quickly point out that this video is in no way, shape or form me bragging or anything like that. I love watching makeup collection videos on YouTube. I see a lot of people do them and they are so satisfying to watch. I also love seeing um, new products that are coming out um, or products that have come out that I don't actually know exist out there um, or ways that people have their things set up. I actually do my filming and everything from my bedroom so I have my whole beauty set up in my bedroom as well. So I just thought that would be pretty interesting for you guys to see hopefully um but yeah if you guys are interested to see my makeup collection video and a little bit of my setup then just keep watching <laughs> So this is kind of an overview of where I actually sit when I film my YouTube videos. I've just got my two softboxes on at the moment just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see because the light outside is being a bit crappy at the moment. Even though it looks very glary over there, it's not that bright. But yeah, so this is where I sit to film my YouTube videos. Normally I would have that camera up there, but I'm just charging the battery um, for it at the moment. So I've taken it down. But yeah, so this is just a bit of an oversee of um, what it looks like for where I film. Um, I do have my little background in the corner over there, which I normally put up on some stands, um, which is where if I have like a background in my video, that's the one that I use. And then I just have a little makeup cabinet um, or trolley, sorry, I should say over here in the corner, which I will go into a little bit more detail later. Okay, this is what my filming setup looks like. So I've just got um, a desk from Ikea and then I have two sets of the um, Alex Draw which I got from Ikea as well. This table actually doesn't screw in. I've just got it sitting on top of the drawers. It's pretty heavy duty so it doesn't move um, around too much or anything like that. And then I just have this pink um, seat that I sit on which I actually got from Kmart. My soft boxes and my ring light are from eBay uh, which I was lucky enough to get from Jesse for my birthday about a year, oh, I think two years a year ago maybe or two years ago something like that I can't really remember now but um yeah they've been really good for my filming as a beginner so that's pretty good so I have this fridge here this little beauty fridge that um Jesse actually also got me for Christmas last year which um just plugs into the powerpoint and then it's um can be either cold or hot so I just store some of my face masks and my moisturizers in that and then up here I just have this little face wipe holder that I made so you can actually just open it and you can pull out the makeup wipes from in there if you need to. I just thought it was cute and um, it looked fun to make so I did that. Um, and then over here I have um, three of these containers which I actually got from Kmart. Um, I believe they were like three dollars each. One of them I used to store my cotton pads, my um, what are these called? Q-tips and then the one at the back just has mascara wands and some other q-tips in there as well just if I'm doing any clients then I just have this little cup back here which has some lip balms in it and then just like practical things that I need like scissors and um, I actually have this really cute fan that I will show you guys that I got from Daiso for $2.80 it's just done by batteries which is awesome which means I can take it around with me if I need to it's good for like drying my setting spray and stuff like that here I just have another little cup which has some other things in it so it's got a uh, light off my candles um, we have a roller for like your clothes um, what else is in there actually oh an eyelash curler here I just have my beauty blenders which are really gross and need to be cleaned and then also on my desk I just leave my iPad my airpods and my computer as well for if I need to edit any videos and in the morning time I usually um, use my iPad to watch some YouTube while I'm getting ready for work. Then over here I just have a Lano Lips lip balm. This is one of my favorite lip balms. If you like the 101 um, ointment, this is really good as well. Um, and then I have a brush cleaner from Daiso, just a diffuser at the back from Kmart. And then I just have a few like little things in here. So I've got some tape, some more lip balm, um, some tweezers and some eyelash glue as well. And then I just have two sample of makeup there that should, wouldn't normally be there, but 
I'm just trying them out at the moment. Then moving over here, I have all of my makeup brushes. These containers I got from Kmart as well. I believe they were really inexpensive from the stationery section. So these is like an overview of all my brushes that I have. No normal person needs this many brushes but as we all know I'm like pretty obsessed with makeup so I love trying out new brushes and stuff like that they have all been really well used as well which is great I get a lot of use out of all my brushes um, these are just my eyeshadow brushes and then I have like face brushes bronzer and highlight um, we have some just random powder brushes over here. there's like so many of the same wow now that I'm looking at it there's so many of the same brushes in here but yeah I love trying out new brands and stuff like that so that's why I have those some of the main brushes that I have in here, um, I believe a lot of them are like Zoeva. Um, we have some Real Techniques brushes uh, in here as well. And then a lot of them are actually like this brush here is from Gloss, which I don't even think is around anymore. It is one of my favorite bronzer brushes. My mom actually bought this for me for like probably my, I think it was maybe my 14th birthday. I like will never get rid of this brush. I love it. Favorite highlighting brush. This is the Anastasia A23 brush. I absolutely love this. I picked this up when I was in the US and I have not put it down since I got it. Um, what, what else do I have? We have some Isabella Scott brushes, which I got from TKA Max when I was overseas. This is a Marc Jacobs powder brush. Some more Real Techniques. Um, I don't even know where that's from. More Real Techniques. But yeah, mainly Real Techniques and um, Zoeva brushes are what I have. And then just some other like random ones that I've picked up here and there that I really enjoy as well. Here is my camera. Just in case any of you guys were wondering to film my sit down videos. I have the Canon 80D, which I was lucky enough to buy myself for my birthday two years ago now, I think it was. I am currently filming on my vlog camera. I just thought it would be easier to cut around. Um, this lens came with the camera. So it's the 18 to 50. 55 millimeter lens um, and yeah it was like such a good investment I'm really really happy that I got that camera this first drawer here is pretty much where I keep all of my mascaras and any of my eyebrow products that I need to use so I like to try out a lot of mascaras so I have quite a few um, so I've got some essence in here I have a lot of L'Oreal I really enjoy their mascaras as well um, it's another L'Oreal, some Benefit, oh we have some, who's this one by, Hourglass, I really like this um, mascara as well. And then I think that's uh, actually in this one that I want to give a mention to. This is the L'Oreal Paris uh, Voluminous Original Carbon Black, I think it is. Yeah, mascara. I really enjoy this one as well. And then over here, I just have some of my eyeliners and eyebrow products. I really like the NYX, um, what is this called? Eyebrow Cake Powder. I've pretty much um, emptied this side of it. This is my favorite. So it's pretty much the only one I use in there. I don't actually know if they make this anymore, but I really enjoy that. And also the Essence one as well. This is pretty inexpensive from Priceline. I have some um, brow gels in here too. I really like these ones from L'Oreal and also uh, this one by Essence as well. I really enjoy. Um, I have some eyeliners in here too. I don't really use eyeliner at all. I just kind of have them. But yeah, I've actually also been enjoying the e.l.f. pencil, which I got from Kmart. Really inexpensive. Really nice thin wand on it. And also comes with a spoolie on the other end as well. And in this container here, I also have my eyeshadow primers. So I have one from Smashbox, which I absolutely love. I have a MAC um, paint pot. This is in soft ochre. I have a glitter glue from Too Faced, which I really enjoy as well before I use any kind of shimmers. I have this one from Benefit. What is this one? Oh, this is the Stay Don't Stray. Oh, this is pretty old. I probably need to get rid of this. I haven't used this in forever. Yeah, it's pretty gross. This one's quite old. I really enjoyed this when I used that as well. And the Essence I Love Stage are some of my favorite um, eyeshadow bases as well. And this drawer is where I keep all my blush and my bronzers. And I have um, like one or two highlighters that I use quite often every day. So I keep them in here as well. I should also mention all of these little containers that I use for my makeup. I have from Kmart. Really inexpensive in the uh, fridge section, like the utensil section. Um, so I just pick them up from there and they literally store everything and they actually fit perfectly um, in these Alex drawers as well. Bronzer is probably my favorite part of makeup, so I love to try a lot of different bronzers. Uh, I love the Hoola Benefit for contouring. This is actually one of the biggest sizes that they came out with. It's like a limited edition one, but it's huge. So I really enjoy that one. I love the Hourglass Ambient Light Powders as well. 
Um, we have some from Too Faced and some from Tarte, which I really enjoy as well. This is the chocolate, uh, milk chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I really love as well. It's a matte bronzer. And the Anastasia bronzer as well in Rosewood is one of my favorite bronzers. It's quite warm. Um, I tend to use it when I'm fake tanned, but if I only use a little bit when I'm a bit more pale, I can get away with that one as well. And also, I don't think I have, oh, I do have it in here. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula is also one of my favorites. This one's quite old, but I still love it. And every time I open it, it just smells of coconut. I also really enjoy these bronzers from Fenty Beauty as well. These are the, uh, what are these? The Sunstalker bronzers. So I have two shades of this one for when I'm tanned and one for when I'm a bit more fair. So these are really good bronzers. I really like them and I love the pack. Like how stunning is that packaging? And then another one that I picked up from Mechaland actually is the Disney Aladdin MAC bronzer. This is supposed to be a blush, but that is definitely a bronzer. Um, it is very warm, but I really enjoy using this one as well if I just use a little bit of it. One here from MAC that I haven't used yet, but I loved the packaging on this. This is, I don't know what collection this was from. Yeah, I'm not too sure of the collection, but stunning packaging. I am a huge sucker for packaging. I love buying like collections and stuff like that. So that's what this one looks like. I haven't tried this one out yet, but I'm definitely will get there eventually. This is a really excessive amount of makeup for one person, but I am like a makeup collector. So I love collecting makeup and um, collecting collections and I will literally keep all of this stuff forever. Like I will never get rid of it. I know things get old, but I like to keep them anyway. I love the packaging and like boxes and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty much my hobby is like collecting and using makeup and trying out new things I absolutely love doing it so um yeah that's why I own a really ridiculous amount but um yeah it'll be cool to look back on in you know 10 15 years time when this stuff isn't available anymore and they've come out with newer things I will have this to look back on and a lot of it has memories for me as well so yeah I really you think it's a, a sentimental thing to have and then on this side i have a lot of my blushes on both of these as well again i really love blush as well so i have some nars here this is a little mini one that i got in like a beauty loop box i think and then we have some burt's bees love this one as well it's like a really nice corally color i picked this one up when i was in the u.s unfortunately you can't get it in australia not that i'm aware of anyway um have some hourglass as well i really enjoy their uh blushes they have some really Really nice colors and then we have some benefit some milani the nyx blushes i love the nyx blushes as well but they have really inexpensive and they have a really good color payoff some mac what else do we have in here some models prefer i really love the color of this one as well um, some face of australia which i actually also don't know if you can get face of australia anymore i think they discontinued that but i have that one too and what else do we have Ooh, what is this Oh, this is from the Mecca Max brand in Mecca, if I can open it. Stunning color, really, really nice on fair skin as well. I love that one. And then down in this drawer here, sorry that the angles on the camera keep changing. I'm literally using like a pop-up prop thing to try and film this because I am trying to film this on my own and the best way that I can. So in this drawer here, I have all of my powders. Again, I really love trying out new powders as well. So I have a whole bunch in here that um, I really enjoy actually. These are the ones I use the most on this side. So the Anastasia powder, the translucent one is my favorite. It is a huge container. I absolutely love this stuff. Then I have some Fenty Beauty. I really love this powder as well. The shade butter is my favorite. Um, I did buy banana as well. I can kind of get away with this when I'm 10, but it is quite a dark uh, powder. The Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder is another one of my favorites. I love using this as well. The Hourglass, uh, what is this one called? Veil Translucent Powder as well. Absolutely love this. If you have fair skin, you'll enjoy this one. And also the powder... Uh, pretty vulgar the powder room matte setting powder. I really love this one as well You can get this in Sephora. Also love the Cody airspun powder as well This uh, the scent on this is extremely strong. So if you don't like scents, I don't know if you'll like this I don't mind it, but it is a very strong scented perf uh, perfume. Oh my god powder in here I have some of my setting powders these I mainly use to set under my eyes and stuff like that or for baking and then I have powders here that I use to set my face so absolutely love the Astralis 
uh, setting powders. This one you can get from Priceline. I have gone through so many of these. These are some of my favorites. I also love the Benefit. This is their new powder, the ha Hello Happy. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Hello Happy powder. I have this in the shade 1. And I also really like the Kat Von D. This is the powder. I think this is the powder foundation, but I use this as a setting powder for my face as well. Really nice color for uh, pale skin, which I am very thankful for. Over here, I have the... Oh, actually, I really love these powders. Oh, my God. I just love everything, don't I? It's ridiculous. Um, the Marc Jacobs Finish Line Setting Powder. I really like this. Cover FX. This is really good for setting your whole face, um, as well as just using it to bake with if you wanted to as well. Um, I know there's a few... I think there's two versions of this, but this is just the perfect setting powder version. The Huda Beauty powder as well in the shade Pound Cake. I really love this as well. This does have a very strong smell on it and the packaging can be a little bit annoying as well. It has um, like a little, actually I'll see if I can show you guys. So it has like one of these little nets but sometimes once the powder from this little layer in here is gone it's hard to get it out of the packaging but I really enjoy the powder so I learned to live with the packaging of it. The drawer is very messy. I find this one very hard to keep clean and tidy. Um, but this is my foundation and my concealer drawer. I really need to go through this and like fix it, but um, you guys get the gist. <laughs> yeah, so this is all my foundations and my concealers. I absolutely love the Makeup Revolution foundation at the moment. This is like my go-to foundation. My Pale Girls out there, F1 is my favorite shade in this foundation. It has a really big doe foot applicator as well. Super easy to apply and it, yeah, it's full coverage. I love it. Also have really been enjoying the Infallible Pro Glow foundation. I believe this was discontinued though, which I'm really, really sad about because I really enjoy this for when I'm both tan and pale skin as well. So I really love those ones. Um, I have the Urban uh, Dream. Oh my Wow. The Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Foundation. I've been testing this one out as well. So I'm going to do a video on that one. Um, what else do we have in here? LA Girl Pro Matte is another one of my favorite foundations as well. Uh, we have, oh, and this stick foundation from Makeup Revolution. Super inexpensive. I absolutely love uh, this as well. It has really good coverage. And if you have dry skin, this is perfect. Have some Huda Beauty, which I love as well. I like mixing this with some of my lighter foundations if I wanted a bit more full coverage. Um, we have some Wet n Wild, which I really enjoy as well. Um, Wet n Wild and the LA Girl you can actually get off Glam Raiders online. They have super quick shipping and they are amazing to deal with. I've never had any issues with them. Um, Makeup Revolution you can also get from there, but you can now get this in Priceline too, which is awesome. One's up here, some Hourglass and the L'Oreal uh, True Match Foundation I love as well. Um, what is this? This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. A lot of Maybellines. I actually went to like a sale thing that they had. I got like most of these for like five dollars. So I have a few colors in there. And the Designer Brands Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff as well. I've gone through quite a few bottles of these. Over here is where I keep all of my concealers. My favorites at the moment would probably have to be the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and also the where is it? The Flower Beauty Concealer, which you can get from. Chemist Warehouse. I really enjoy this concealer as well. We have some KKW, some Tarte Shape Tape, which I love as well. Um, what is this? Uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. I remember the hype when this first came out. I really enjoy that one too. Have some Benefit Boing Concealer. I haven't tried this one out, but I did pick this up for a video. Some NARS. I really love this concealer as well. The what do we have? Elf Concealer, which you can get from Kmart. Super inexpensive for this as well. I really like this concealer. Then we have the uh, Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. So this is the concealer. Oops, sorry. I don't know if you guys could see that. So this is the Makeup Revolution one, and it matches with the foundation. So these are really good together. This is the concealer of it. I've also really been enjoying the L'Oreal Infallible uh, concealer as well. I've literally nearly gone through this whole thing, so I'm going to be stocking up another one of those. I have these new ones from Milani, which I got from uh, Discount Beauty Boutique online, so they have really quick shipping as well. They stock a lot of Milani and um, Wet n Wild and stuff like that, so I got these from on there. Last drawer on this side, I have all of my primers. Again, it is a little bit messy. I probably should have prepared this a bit better, um, but I have the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer, which I really love. The Maybelline 
Master Prime. I've gone through a few of these. I really enjoy this one as well. The Tatcha Primer, the Silk Canvas Primer. I love this as well for filling in the pores. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've nearly used all of this, which I'm really sad about because this is one of my favorites. Super hydrating for the skin. L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. I really like this. This is a silicon-based primer. The Angel Veil vale Primer, I really enjoy that one as well. I enjoy the Hourglass Primers as well. These are super expensive, but they are really good primers. Uh, we've got some Elf Flawless Putty Primer as well. I love this stuff. In this drawer on the other side, um, I do have the other set of Alex drawers that I showed you guys before. So this one just has all of my setting sprays and some of my brush cleaner in here as well. So we've got some from Wet n Wild, the Jeffree Star um berry scent mist i absolutely love this um setting spray it smells delicious just got the original morphe setting spray over here as well some fix plus which i absolutely love you cannot go without this um we have an anastasia dewy set setting spray the huda beauty one i haven't actually tried this out yet i've heard a lot of mixed reviews on that one um, but i have that the maybelline master fix uh, setting spray, which you guys would have heard me talk about on my channel before. I absolutely love this stuff. One of my favorite setting sprays. And we have the Lila B Glow Mist setting spray. I seen Jacqueline Hill using this on her channel and I decided to pick it up. Um, I also have some Kat Von Vic D, which I don't really like this one too much. I feel like the mist doesn't really come out that well. And then we've got some Urban Decay ones down here. And some more Fix Plus at the back. Oh, and one of my favorite... Um, things as well is actually the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Primer Water. I love using this before I apply my foundation and my primer. And in this drawer here, I have some of my eyeshadow palettes. These ones I find a little bit harder to store, so I kind of just have them in uh, the Alex drawer as well. I've got some Natasha Denona. I have a palette that is from Colourpop, just in one of these um, Z palettes. It just has a mix of shades in it. And then we've just got a Colourpop one. This is one of the Disney collections that they have. Um, we have a Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edits palette back there and then over here we have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe the vaults collection that she came out with with Morphe so I have those in here as well just in this drawer here I just have some of my brush collections that I have purchased so this is the original Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, collab that they came out with this is her most recent one absolutely love the brushes in both of these I love Morphe brushes as well uh, this is from Crystal Conti this was her collection on Quartz Beauty that she has um, then we just have the Jaclyn Hill like extra bag that I got for traveling, um, some Urza Weaver case from their brushes and then just like a travel case brush set in there as well. And just coming over to this side of my uh, makeup setup, I just have these, uh, this trolley, sorry, that I actually picked up from Kmart. It was originally grey, but I painted it pink myself because I'm literally obsessed with pink. So um, I thought it would like match perfectly with my room and I just love the color pink. So I picked up this trolley to um, put some of my makeup on display. Just in this little first top section of the cart, I just have some palettes. So I've just got one of the Benefit uh, Cheerleader palettes. This is actually the um, Physician's Formula Butter Collection with Casey Holmes that they did the collab with. Oh my god. This was never released in Australia and it took me so long to get my hands on it. I actually had to buy it off someone online. I paid a ridiculous amount of money for it, but it was so worth it because I absolutely love her. So I really wanted to get that in the packaging. It's just stunning. Um, we've got some Too Faced uh, Hangover. I pretty much wanted to do this whole entire section pink, hence why there's like a lot of pink stuff over here. That was kind of the point of it was kind of just to have it all on display for myself just I don't know because I'm obsessed, <laughs> but I just have some Jeffree Star concealers, um, some lip liners of his, and just like some ColourPop lippy pencils. I have all of my lip liners. Sorry if that's in the way. Hang on. Please hold. I've got some brushes in here as well. I think these are, yeah, these are ColourPop brushes. So just some random ones there. All of my lip liners in this little pink container that I got from Kmart. Um, I have some foundation on display as well. Some Jeffree Star setting powder. Uh, his collaboration with Morphe. Uh, we have a Kylie uh, makeup bag that I got as well. And then just some other palettes 
in here, some Too Faced, some Huda. Uh, this is the Shen XO palette from ages ago, but I could never get rid of that. I love her as well. Uh, we've got some Tarte and then just a, uh, what is this? Oh, this is a Too Faced palette as well. And just down in this next section, I have, again, some other pink stuff on display that I love. So I've got this Ted Baker makeup bag. Um, I have the Jeffree Star Morphe collaboration, like with all his brushes and stuff in there. And then on this very bottom one, I have the other part of the Jeffree Star Morphe collab. I have my Beats speaker uh, to the left. And then at the back, I just have my uh, travel makeup case that I actually got when I was in the US as well. Just the last part of my makeup collection, I have these uh, set of nine drawers that I actually got from um, Ikea as well. So I just had to get some extra ones because I could not fit everything in those other drawers. And this just created a whole heap of extra storage, which is awesome. I don't use all of the drawers, only just like the first few of them. Um, but now I have the extra room in case I need them for the future. But yeah, this is the top part of the makeup drawer. So I will go through this with you guys as well. So this is the top part of the makeup drawers. So I just have a few of my favorite things just up on display on this just to kind of add to my room and just to make it look a little bit prettier. I have that in the background sometimes of my videos when I film. So I just have my planner here, um, which I use to just, yeah, plan <laughs> pretty much. Um, then I just have this little cup here with some makeup brushes in it that I got from Target. I believe this was like $3, um, something really inexpensive like that. So I have that. Then I just have some of my palettes up here. If I just move that along so you guys can see. So I've got some Too Faced, the Peaches palette. Um, actually a really old um, Jaclyn Hill collab that she had with Becca. So this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh my god, I was so excited when I was able to get this when that first came out a few years ago. Um, then I have some Kylie back here as well. So this is like one of her customizable palettes that she has. I have the Morphe and Jeffree Star collab up here. I'm obsessed with the packaging on this one. I have my James Charles palette. And just over here I have some of my Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks that she came out with. We have some of the KKW and some of the NYX lingerie lipsticks in there as well. So I just have them on display in like a little container that I bought off eBay. And then I just have a Chanel perfume that I like to keep on display over here as well. One of my favorites. This is the um, Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. And then I just have some of the Jeffree Star lipsticks at the front as well. Those are like my most used favorite colors. So we've got um, Mannequin and Celebrity Skin there, I believe. So I just leave those on display as well because I do like to use them quite often. Moving on to this first drawer that I have here, this is just pretty much where I keep all of my lipsticks. I actually made this little drawer divider. I don't know if you can see it like back here, but I actually made this thing from... Um, a set that I got from Daiso so you, I actually just cut it all and stuck it together and made like a bit of a lipstick tray out of it just so that I had somewhere to store all of my lipsticks. Um, most of these are drugstore. I do have a row of MAC lipsticks at the back here but most of them are like a lot of Maybelline down here. We have some Essence, some designer brands. This is like one of my favorite Maybelline lipsticks. This is in the shade Baddest Beige. Um, Jaclyn Hill like raved on about this so I um, picked one up and I absolutely love that as well. Um, we have some Kylie lipsticks back here. We have some matte collabs over here. Um, what else do we have? Some L'Oreal, some Tarte, and then we have like some Huda liquid lipsticks over here as well, some Urban Decay. But um, yeah, I pretty much use the same shade of everything. Everything is just nude lipsticks. Um, but yeah, this is how I like to store all of those ones. And as I said, most of these are all available at the drugstore as well. This drawer is where I keep all of my face highlighters. So I just have them set out in some of these containers. I also have some eye products in here as well, like some of the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencils. We have some of the Chi Chi and the um, Astralis Metallic Liquid. Oh, they're not really liquid, but... You guys know what I'm talking about. And these are just the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows. Um, we have some of the NYX Roll-On Shimmer Balls. 
some Kylie Cosmetics. Uh, these are some. These are highlighters actually, but I do like to keep them just in this little tray. We have some of the Tarte Chrome pots. Absolutely love this one as well. This is in the shade Frosé. This is one of my favorites. Then in here is just where I have all my highlighters. So we have some MAC. This is an OG Soft and Gentle. We have some Models Prefer, some Becca, some Too Faced. We do have one of the new Benefit um, highlighters. This is in the shade Cookie. It's absolutely stunning. Some Anastasia, Beverly Hills, and the Amrezy highlighter. This is also one of my favorites. Uh, we have some The Balm, another one of my favorite highlighters. This is in... Um, what is this one? Oh, this is the Mary Luminizer. So I absolutely love this. I remember when this was so hard to get your hands on. Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Some um, Astralis. And then we have some NYX. And some Physicians Formula as well. And then in this drawer down here is where I keep all of my eyelashes. So we've got some Red Cherry lashes in here. Again, I pretty much use the same kind of lash all the time. Um, I buy so many of them, but they are all generally the same. And I just have one of these little containers that I got from Daiso as well, which you can stick your lashes in if you need to travel or anything like that. And um, we have some Lash Line. Some These are some Velour lashes that I got when I was in the States. Oh, these lashes here are my absolute favorite. So these are the Kiss Blowout Lashes in the style Pompadour. Absolutely love these. They give such a full effect, but they can also be worn during the day or at night time to add that bit of extra volume. So I have two packets of those ones because they were on sale when I got them. And these are just some used ones that really shouldn't be there. Um, some sets of lashes that I also got from, I believe these were from Wish. Some of these aren't too bad. Some of them are a bit like not that great, but they were really cheap. So I got those as well. Then we have some lashes from Lustrous Lashes as well. Absolutely love the packaging on these. Like, how stunning is that? This drawer down here is where I keep all of my face palettes. So these ones, again, are quite hard to store. So I just kind of put them all into the one drawer and just pick from them when I need them. So we've got some of the Revolution highlighting quads. Absolutely love these. These are some of my favorite highlighters as well and super inexpensive. Um, we have a bronzer from L'Oreal. I believe this is a new one that they have come out with. I love the packaging on this as well. And it is literally massive. So there's a lot of product in there. And then we have some Marc Jacobs. This is one of their bronzers. This is from their coconut line. This is the Omega Bronzer Tantastic. So this is the lighter shade out of the bunch. I have some Smashbox. Again, these are one of my favorite face palettes as well. This you can get from Mecca. And it has like blush, highlighter, contour, um, a powder to like clean up any mistakes as well. Blush. So I love that one. I have some of the Too Faced palettes. This is the Natural Face palette. Absolutely love this as well. And it has such a beautiful smell to it. This one is their contour palette that they have. It smells like chocolate. I absolutely love it. We have one of the NARS highlighting palettes, which I actually don't think is available anymore, unfortunately. Um, but this is what this one looks like. The colors up here are stunning. I absolutely love this palette as well. And moving on to the very last drawer that I have in this section, this one is literally all of my samples. So anything that I have got from like beauty loot boxes or um, if I've purchased things online and they've sent out a sample with the package as well or from the Easter show as well is where I've got a lot of these from. But there is so many samples in here. This is my favorite way of trying out new skincare or makeup or foundations or whatever is when they come like this. Look, look how cute. This is a Laura Mercier powder. Like, how cute is that? So, it's a really good way to try out any new products that are out. And, yeah, I'm literally, like, obsessed with this drawer. The last thing that I just wanted to quickly jump on and show you guys that I actually just got this in the mail the other day. This is the um, Conspiracy Palette by Jeffrey Cosmetics and Shane Dawson. And I just really wanted to give a quick mention because, like, how stunning is this palette? Like, I literally cannot even deal. It is just gorgeous. I'm so proud of them. They did such a good job on this collection. And the packaging, like, oh my god, can you even? It's stunning. This color is to die for. I love it. Hey guys, so that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my makeup collection and just seeing my setup and how I do it all from my bedroom. Um, if you guys have any questions in regards to my video or you want to know where anything's from, feel free to leave me a comment below. I love chatting with you guys down there as well. Also, don't forget to go and follow me over on my Instagram, which I will leave on the screen somewhere for you guys 
guys to go and check it out um, feel free to chat to me or anything like that I absolutely love doing that kind of stuff and making new friends as well so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up let me know some videos that you guys want to see in the comments below and I will happily film them for you guys as well I am so excited that it's finally getting into Christmas season my absolute favorite season um, that literally exists so i'm really excited to do a whole heap of christmas videos for you guys um i am going to bali um the day after christmas so i will be vlogging that for you guys as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching oh my god that was not me that was my foot rubbing against my chair please excuse um thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you all in my next one